Well, we have Jeannie Becker here and Zoomer Magazine's Suzanne Boyd. Uh, I want to talk to you, Suzanne, about the perceptions of society. You say that you've been called a fashion victim. I don't see it. But are there things that you think we should stop wearing as we get older? Like, I still, I'm 49, I'm going to be 50 next year. Congratulations. I'm still, oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm very happy to be alive. Yeah. Very happy. I'm still rocking crop tops. You yes. saw me with my platform Uggs. Like, Absolutely. I have a 13-year-old fashion advisor, mm -hmm. a tween in my yeah. home, who's saying, no, you need a crew sock, yeah. mommy. Like, yeah. Are there things that you think that you should not wear as you get older? No, I don't believe that there's things you shouldn't wear as you get older. I think that goes hand in hand appropriate with this whole concept of aging gracefully. Yeah. Which I think is a, a, a bad concept because it's weaponized and you're judged. Mm -hmm. So I, I put it, you know, I always think about Madonna. And, you know, you look at men and women aging in the public eye. So someone like Iggy Pop, who always had his top off for years yeah. and still does it. And he doesn't look the same. Right. And people go, yay. But she's doing what she always did. And it's like, that's terrible. She's so vulgar. Why doesn't she, you know, stop doing it? So I think you have to do what's you. And if that doesn't change as you get older, then just do it. So if that's the crop top, the pop top, the short shorts. Yeah. There's ways to do it. You can wear, you know, if you want to have some sort of, let's say, camouflage. Yeah. There's styling tricks. So I, I say uh, my advice is just play with what you have. Mm -hmm. Tights are great with shorts. Um, you know, sort of opaque, slightly opaque beach cover-ups. If you want to do a swimsuit or a bikini, just any, there's ways to wear things, feel comfortable and still be who you are. I love that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's interesting, that idea of aging gracefully. What does that mean? What does it mean to be graceful when you age? Does it mean following the rules of society? Or does it mean you feel good about yourself as the numbers stack up? I think it means to thine own self be true. Yes. Which is uh, the best advice you know, yes. I ever got. Yes. yes. And it has to do with authenticity. Yes. You know, and, and that, to me, is grace. I mean, really being mm -hmm. honest about who you are to yourself, first and yeah. foremost. Do you believe, Jeannie, in age-appropriate clothing? Um, um... Because we've you know, thought, listen, we've had an evolution on the show as well. Yeah. We used to say, well, if you're over 35, yeah. no, yes. no shine on the eyes. Right. It's like those rules are kind of gone away now. You know, but... again, first and foremost, I believe in spirit appropriate dressing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you have yeah. to dress for your spirit. Yeah. First and foremost, I, and it's a very personal thing, to, I have seen, you know, my body has, you know, changed over the years. So mm -hmm. there's certain... I still want to rock a mini skirt, but yes. with no fake tights. <laughs> but I definitely, yeah, exactly. Right? Right? Yeah. But I definitely, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to wear like you know the hip huggers and, and the, oh, the you know, expose my midriff and the yes. little bikini triangle yeah. bikini yes. with the low risers. But, no, but Jeannie. That's <laughs> I love I mean, that shot of you. It, yeah, well, I know. I was 17, darling. You I'm, were 17? Yeah, and I'm just on, I just turned 72. Yes. So, oh, you know, that wow. was a few uh, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm still uh, having fun with fashion. I still yeah. adore it. And I think we, as Suzanne was saying, it is a great tool yeah. um, to be used in, you know, very positive ways. What a great form of communication, mm -hmm. telling the world about who we are. Yeah. I love that. Um, Suzanne, I like mm -hmm. that you stay true to who you are. Um, both of you do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a fantastic message for people to even be taking on subliminally. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just living your life and you are yeah. doing what's good for you. So yes. keep going. Thank oh, you for that. Thank you. Um, Jeannie, <laughs> very exciting project on the horizon mm -hmm. for you. Uh, what's coming up? I've got a new book coming out with yes. Simon & Schuster. Uh, not till October, but you can pre-order it. Yeah. It's called Heart on My Sleeve, which is all about being honest and authentic. Um, and the subtitle is Stories from a Life Well-Worn, because it really is a, a collection of stories, and not in chronological order, but how certain items in my wardrobe from the past really um, act as springboards for incredible stories about life's adventures and the people that I've met and how certain things made us feel. I mean, we all have these pieces in our wardrobes, accessories, pieces of jewelry, garments, that really bring us back to certain places in time and that yeah. teach us so much about mm -hmm. the way we were and who we've become. I love that. That's a good concept for a book. That's going to be incredible, and we love that you are having this coming out, and we'll talk with you about it on the show again. You know that. Thanks to both of you for joining.